What's up, it's you. For today's video, we have a Rolly Coley sweep. Rolly Coley is a little bit of coal, and it's going to be featuring in my Christmas video for today. Now, I want to say firstly, at the moment, it's Christmas Eve for me, but um, in case I don't put another video up this for a couple of days or something like that, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. I really hope you have a good time and relax. Uh, spend time with your family. Get a present or two. Give a present or two. The thing I like about Christmas the most is giving, right? And just relaxing. Um, I will be doing a uh, Twitch stream like right now on Twitch, and uh, you can get that link in the description of the video. I'll probably pin the comment there too. I'll be doing multi-battles, single battles, max raids. I just want to chill and hang out with all you people so if you want to come along make sure you do uh, check it out after this video or pop open a second tab and hear my voice twice I know you want to do that all right so today's video is going to be featuring Rolly Coley Rolly Coley really has no setup moves at all so it's going to be uh, helping out uh, a little bit with my other Pokemon I've got 69 gigs of RAM here to help and we're going to be doing an amazing Christmas video also while this is happening I do want to say a couple of words uh, a couple of profound words because um you know, it's been a pretty crazy uh, year. So 2019, um, I want to say all to, to all the people who've been watching my videos, whether you're a, a, like an old subscriber or a new subscriber or just watch my videos every now and then, thank you very much for all the support over 2019. It's been absolutely awesome. And yeah, I, I still can't believe I'm you know making Pokemon videos after all these years. We've, we've been 10 years on YouTube now. And yeah, it's, it's been... It's been yeah, really, really amazing and stuff like that. You know, it's been a very, very big journey. It's sort of like a, a like a roller coaster, and you know, you guys have been there with me the whole time. So, you know, I really appreciate that. I just want to say that, and I'll probably, I'll probably say that every year. But uh, yeah, I, it's close to my heart guys all right i love you all right anyway let's talk about what's going on in this video so we're going to hit my lead looking a little bit like a shiny dragon here man i just i can't stand that green color especially on dragon i know there's someone out there that likes shiny dragon though all right we're going to go for a sword dance here now this actually gets sword dance and baton pass and also gets fluffy too so i'm actually able to tank these hits like a lot better than i should and i just like i only just lived that second uh, close combat there from the Hitmonlee. Now, I have been doing a couple of uh, live Pokemon sweeps. So as I mentioned, I do want to do some live ones and I want to do some post-com ones because some people prefer, you know, some people like the live ones and some people like the post-com ones. So I wanted to mix it up. Uh, same with theme teams as well. And I want to do something a little bit different this year than a Christmas theme because I've done them like every, like most years and I've done the Deli Bird Christmas present thing about, you know, three or four times. So if you want to check those ones out or just, just type it in or search it in on my channel. All right, so we got to uh, get Rex Scrub coming in here. I actually really like that shiny on Dragovich. Looks really nice. Um, I'm going to be going for a sub shoot here, and I'm just going to be passing on the sub shoot to my little uh, Roly Coley. Now, once again, Roly Coley has no real setup moves at all, so I had no choice. I had to like pass the stats. This battle was pretty interesting and a little bit funny towards the end, and once again, I really hope you uh, enjoy this, and I will uh, talk some strategy at the end, and of course, uh, maybe a little bit more profound words as well. Alright, enjoy people.
All right, let's have a look at the Roly Coly build. And of course, people, I am streaming on Twitch right now. So if this explanation doesn't uh, interest you too much, you know, come and uh, watch me over there. All right, so on the uh, Roly Coly, we've got some uh, physical moves, but they're a little bit limited. Most of its moves are rock type moves. Like Stone Edge was the best I put on there. I was actually kind of lucky that I didn't miss any of those Stone Edges too. Like those things, like two in a no three chances I could have missed there. Now we've got uh, Stone Edge. It has Smackdown. Tackle, self destruct, sand, uh, sand tomb, rock tomb, rock slide, rock blast, rapid spin, iron head, heat crash, gyro ball, facade, explosion, and dig. So it really doesn't have any amazing attacks. I had to really spread everything out. Also, it's only a rock type Pokemon, too, so I only had like one version of stab. Now, probably my favorite bit on this or in that video was the Ferrothorn. I was actually able to Dynamax and use Heat Crash as a fire type move and take the Ferrothorn out. If that didn't learn Heat Crash, there was no way I would have got through that. So that was really, really cool. Normally, it's dependent on your weight, too. Roly Coly isn't exactly what you call heavy. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't have done a lot of damage to Ferrothorn if I didn't Dynamax. So they probably didn't expect that. I mean, would you expect a Roly Coly to go for Heat Crash? Like, I, I sure would. Now, uh, the other moves down there were Endure, in case I got the Steam Engine, which I really did need. Uh, if I didn't have the Steam Engine, I would go for uh, a little bit more uh, speed boost on the Ninjas. In that case, I knew that I'd probably get the Steam Engine from the Dragovish, so I'd you know, risk swapping it in, and we went from there. Uh, the other moves down there were Iron Head. Iron Head was just coverage, and you know that was it. Coverage with the Heat Crash. It pretty much didn't have too uh, many options. If I was going to go Dynamax, I'd be using Stone Edge like, all the time. Heat Crash for Steel types and stuff like that. And Iron Head, you know, if I found any like Fairy types and other Rock types, you know, that was quite important too. But yeah, even after the plus six in attack, it really didn't hit like super, super strong. So uh, I normally had to get like a, have a super effective or not like an overly bulky Pokemon. Now the item I had on there, I tossed up for a while whether I should put like weakness policy on there if I wasn't able to get all the sword dance stuff. But then in the end, I opted for Eggway Berry because if I was on one health, I could easily go down to priority. So I decided to put that on there. And I thought I might get a couple of uh, defensive boosts from the uh, Iron Head as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. And I want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching my Pokemon sweeps ever since the very first one, which was, oh, it's about eight years ago. That was my, that was my love disc sweep. That was my very first Pokemon sweep I uploaded on YouTube. Then it was like a love disc and a couple, a uh, couple more. Then it was, Mag I think Magikarp was uh, my, you know, that's my biggest video ever. That was my third upload. And it's sort of gone on slowly from there. And my quest is to be actually to uh, complete the entire Pokedex or the, like get a sweep with every single Pokemon like every single different Pokemon. It's been 10 years We've bowled over quite a few so I'm hoping we can keep going and if you guys are interested in this sort of stuff to so keep watching All right, people have a great Christmas. I'll see you on Twitch. Peace